Hello there, everybody, and welcome to another In The Next Fest demo. Today, we're checking out Cyclo Chambers, which is a, a new top-down arena shooter similar to a, a Brotato, a Vampire Survivors, a Neophyte, a 20 Minutes Till Dawn, you name them, right? Um, but this one has some interesting mechanics, so there's, there's more like passive items in this game uh, that also tend to create frantic combinations and synergies uh, akin to a game like The Binding of Isaac, right? Uh, so I'm kind of intrigued by it. I, I feel like this is going to be a little bit of a Brotato Isaac mix, uh, which sounds like a gem to me, uh, and I haven't really seen anybody covering this. So I'm excited to see uh, whether the demo is, is good and whether it's something that we'll want to uh, play in the future. But you can check this out right now. Link in the description down below. Let's get going. So there are three characters uh, in the game currently, and I'm—I mean, I'm assuming that even with the demo, there's there's three characters in the game because there are unlock conditions for them. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we will play as Croco here to start. There is also so we can auto aim and shoot in the game. So this is similar to how Brotato works by default, or we can turn it off and we we have to actually shoot ourselves. Um, not shoot ourselves as in point, point the gun to my head and pull the trigger, but but shoot uh, the bullets instead. I feel like in this kind of game, um, the auto aim and shoot is good, but I'm going to I'm going to try turning it off and, and we'll see how it plays. So he starts with a blaster. We got 20 max HP. He's he's kind of good at everything, uh, is how this works. And we're going to select the dark chamber because we don't have anything else to select. <laughs> So let's let's play on medium. I'm a medium kind of guy. Okay, entertain me. Okay, I'm I'm here to I'm here to entertain you. Immediately, I I will tell you I, I love the art style. Simplistic graphics for these kinds of game, uh, kind of kind of always works best to me. Give me, give me normally you get like the pixel arty style. Uh, obviously, this is slightly different with a little bit more vector art. Uh, so here we go. We we can pick our our first item. Uh, metal attraction increase the range from which pickups will be picked up seems fine um, Every five seconds a stake will pop out of the ground dealing damage to enemies. Okay. Give me give me this Okay for right now. I do think that the the second one is probably better. I hate that <laughs> giant thing going up the screen I, I hated that a lot. I just want to also re real quickly check um some some display settings let's turn the screen shake down i turned down the the rainbow effect as well um for those that, that don't know some people have been bringing up recently uh the fact that i play some games with like colorblind mode on and and turn off a lot of um other graphical features i do that on purpose in my videos uh just to to make sure that everybody possible can can see stuff interesting so this is a, a salesman so now we can spend our money. Um, we currently have 38 money. Plus five max HP, four damage is, is pretty good, honestly. Especially when this is just a significantly worse version of this at the same price. Okay, um, they all cost the same. So move speed is good, but dude, plus five max HP, plus four damage. Hard for me to be upset about that. Okay, uh, keep me going, keep me going. So far, things are pretty straightforward. We do now have uh, some some new enemies, and they appear to be some shooty lads as well. Getting some kind of attack speed up is probably going to, to bring us to a, a good spot at some point in the future, um, but we're, we're not quite there yet. I'm trying to figure out, okay, so the top right tells us how far in we are. Now we got our randomizer. Okay, dude, I, I love... I love the way that this is going so far. Projectiles split into two smaller projectiles on impact. Yeah, I love this idea. 1% chance to be healed by an HP every time the enemy is destroyed. Nah, give me give me weird, right? Give me weird. I'm always oh yeah, dude. This is this is what we want to see. So this is what I'm excited for in the game. Um because now if we continue to build weird item combinations, right? We could possibly have our shots split and then the split shots also do something i mean imagine if we got another mitosis i don't even know if that works but can you imagine what would happen if uh the those splots shots split then 
uh, and you just had, you know, recursively splitting shots that continue to annihilate enemies, I feel like that would be an insanely fun situation. 10% chance for enemies to burst into flames when destroyed. Or, or we do the stake. Um, okay. I feel like... I actually feel like spontaneous combustion is probably a better, uh, better play for me. I'm, I'm not using my rerolls. I don't necessarily know when I should use my rerolls. New, new enemies. I love seeing new enemies, man. Can continue to give me new enemies as we go. I think it's important to, to bring up the fact that there are so many uh, of these style of games here in this indie next fest. The, the vampire survivors genre has, has really, really popped off. Um, in the indie community. Holy frick, who are you? Hello, sir. Nice to see you. Okay, I took a little bit of damage. And it appears that we also do not necessarily... Oh, dude, he's... We have to actually kill you. Because there, there's a boss bar on the top of the screen. Okay, that went fine. That went fine. What do we got? Um, that's... Oh, that's just metal attraction again. Okay. Um, we can buy all of this, though. So, I'm probably going to. Duration of status effects... I actually don't care about that, so give me more fire rate, because I said we definitely need that. I mean, metal attraction, I'm going to tell you, I feel like we don't actually need it. Makes you shoot four lasers every time you're hit. Increase damage by two when you're in invincibility. Interesting, and more metal attraction. Hit me with another reroll here. More range, more crit chance, more move speed I would also probably like, but let's, let's vibe for right now. Okay. So things are splitting, we're, we're living a good life. My, my goal um, with these kinds of games is, is just to find ones that do the formula a little bit different. Uh, and I feel like this game, this game is trying to do that formula a little bit different by giving so many um, unique item synergy opportunities. Now I know I've seen Metal Attraction three times, so uh, hoping to see a little bit more variety, but it's also just a demo, right? The full release of the game says that there's there's uh, over 200 items, which is a lot. I mean, I always I always try to compare um, stuff like that. Oh, who is Mirror Face? Would you like me to duplicate this item? Yeah, I would love for you to duplicate that item. So it appears you can have uh, multiple items. So I can see. Wow. Okay, it got multiplied by freaking four. That's crazy. So now our crit chance is 43. Um, <laughs> that seems insanely good. Now imagine if it duplicated mitosis though. Um, that would be the ticket. That would be the ticket. I did. I have the opportunity to re-roll that because that probably would have been. That would have been a good place to pop some re-rolls. Okay, things are getting a little bit spicier. Definitely, definitely warming up in here. But I always try to compare um, item volume counts to base Binding of Isaac, right? Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Um, and Rebirth had like 300-ish items. Uh, and it, and I, I think that's a frick load, okay? Um, so anything in that general realm, I feel like is is pretty pretty high up there. Uh, double the damage you deal when your HP drops below 15% of your max. I actually think that that's pretty good for me. I, I think we can make that happen for sure. And I do think that mitosis. I, I, I'm I'm bringing up mitosis a lot because I feel like it's our 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 wackiest synergy, right? Our wackiest item that we've picked up because it's it's physically affecting the bullets that we fire. I want to see more of that kind of stuff. The the screenshots for the game had some some very strange bullet interactions, so I'm I'm excited to to see how far this this journey goes. So we're we're on scene eight. Um. We're only nine minutes-ish into the run. Uh, I have no idea how long the runs are. But I have to imagine we're going to see some some wild stuff. Plus one luck. We got no idea what luck does. Um, increase invincibility state duration by two times. Okay, you know what? Hit me with a reroll on this one. Plus five damage seems amazing. So does another huge damage increase. Sure. I mean, it's expensive. Maybe, maybe we'll just pass buy something else in the future our damage seems very good now um i mean we're critting for for 42 37 that's pretty strong right we're, we're one-shotting the majority of enemies so that that feels that feels pretty good to me now we just uh now we just patiently wait to, to get something super insane we don't actually heal which is interesting um i'm now noticing that my my HP is still at its 
point that it was at um, when we took the damage a long time ago. We've, we've increased our max HP in the process, so that is making us feel a little bit inflated from, from where we were. Okay, what do we got? Space Hog, a random free item. 20% chance for enemies to burst into flames. Okay, um, sure. Sure. I do like when items can stack, as I feel like that presents opportunities for, um, opportunities for, for fun synergies, right? Not saying that I, I'm basically waiting for mitosis to stack so we can recursively generate bullets, but I'm, I'm waiting for my mitosis to stack so I can recursively generate my bullets. Are you seeing these dudes flaming though, man? That's pretty good. I mean, their 20% chance for the, the flaming is pretty high, right? That's pretty high. Um, oh, dude, there you can get rerolls on the ground as well. That's pretty cool too. Okay. And now we got a, another another bossy fight here. We're doing a good amount of damage, so I'm I'm not I'm not that concerned. But I mean, this is getting a little this is getting a little warm in here. I'm I'm taking some hits. Okay. Let, let's get into this wide open area. You're dead. Okay. Not too, too bad. Little scary, but not too, too bad. More spontaneous combustion. Crazier things have happened. Let's, let's run it. So 30% chance that these guys burst into flames um, upon dying, which then is, spreads like wildfire across the world. We do have so, some more new enemies in here. Some some little flaming guys. I'm going to die. Um, all of a sudden, things have things have gone kind of kind of crazy up in here difficulty increased Let, let's focus a little bit more on our dodging okay a little bit more dodge action i'm i'm good with it okay when in doubt you you always return to the the action roguelite standard called circle all of your enemies as long as you master the circling of your enemies you're gonna live a pretty good life we got tons of money man so more max hp Dude, I, I hate it because I'm going to reroll, right? I'm going to reroll. So double my damage, increase my invincibility, give me more attraction, um, keep me going. Scene 12. Do we know what scene this ends? Absolutely not. We're just kind of here continuing to, to see where life takes me. There, there are way more enemies spawning than <laughs> what they used to spawn. Things are getting a little hot. They're getting a little hot, but that's, that's good. That's good. I do want to see, get, give me the highest difficulty you can give me. I also do want to win, though, because that unlocks our, our other character who theoretically plays in a, a different manner. I also know that since there's there's stage selections, I don't know if the, the different stages in the game will end up having different effects or if it's, it's purely a cosmetic thing. Um, I have no clue. What do you got? Randomizer, interdimensional Santa. Okay. Will you take this item for free? Sure. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Santa. Very kind of you. So now we do have our, our stakes that are going to pop out of the ground every five seconds and, and kill some enemies. Things are a little things are a little hot, for sure. Things are a little hot. A uh, lot of enemies. I'm, I'm dodging. I'm weaving. I'm making the most of the situation at hand. Okay. We have so much money um, and so much XP. I don't know what the XP does. I don't know if there's a meta progression type system with this where we're going to see that XP translate to, to permanent points or unlocks or, or something of that kind uh, in the future. There, there was a collection screen on the, the main, main menu where I could see some unlocky stuff. Homing projectiles forces projectiles to bounce around you. Okay. Wow, um, hit me with the big ones here on, on wave 12. Hit me with the yo-yo? So, okay, this has gotten weird. So then they're also going to split and keep bouncing? How? So this was basically a, a boomerang, right? I mean, I suppose a yo-yo. A yo-yo is just a boomerang on a string. Uh, there's your <laughs> there's your deep, deep statements of the day. Um, I feel like this has put me in a worse spot than before although i don't know maybe it's actually very good because i i never really get anybody to come close to me um but it does make me feel a lot more stress than than what i did previously yeah you know what i think i hate it <laughs> i think i hate it homing would have also been lit um 
but I'm always a sucker for for give me give me bouncy weird stuff, right? More fire rate, yeah, that seems very good. And then sure, we'll take the touch of despair. I'm just gonna buy out the shop every time we we do this. So more more fire rate is excellent. Don't get me wrong. Um, I'm I'm a little. I'm a little terrified for this wave. I'm dead. Okay. Um, that's rough, dude. That's right. I think we got. I think we got a little freaked up. So new items unlocked. Okay. So we're about to. We're about to get all kinds of stuff. Grants an ability that makes you automatically drop a mine. Okay. Increase your fight. New item: the smell of hope. Increase your fire rate when your HP is above eighty-five percent, and it fully restores your health. Okay. So you can see here if I if I go to our collection. Uh, no, this is not what I want to see. I want to go to the main menu real quick. Um, you can see in the progress, so items collected 13 out of 50. So there's 50 items in the demo. Um, we've only seen 13 of them right now. Uh, this puts into perspective just how many there actually are. Uh, so there, there's still a lot to see here. Uh, and I want to hop back in. I want to hop back in and, and see what there is to see. Let's try... I'm I'm going no dude I kind of I kind of like the I, I like having to shoot <laughs> I like having to shoot I think that having to shoot makes the game uh, a lot more interesting now I'm I'm intrigued to see if maybe we see um, very different items this time around or or how that's going to work because I know that some games will do you know to keep things fresh items are weighted a little bit differently um, so that each time you play you see slightly different things. Well, I mean, look, it's the spicy pie. We're, we're going to take the spicy pie this time around. The fact we saw the, the spike rod again probably tells me that there's just a, a low pool of items at the beginning of the game, and then that pool expands as you go. But to be fair, I actually like this style a lot. Um, I feel like people are going to be a little underwhelmed with this, but I think that for, for a demo, I actually think it's done a lot of things right. Um, increased duration of status effects. You got to take the 5 HP and damage for sure. Like that, that's your number one priority. Let's try to save the rerolls for a possible item duplication and see where life takes us. But uh, I, I like what the game is doing. I, I think that having all of the item unlocks, obviously your, your base pool of items has to be big enough to, to capture the person's attention. And in a demo, I mean... What, what are you gonna do? You, you can't you can't put all your game's content uh, into the demo, so I, I completely understand that entirely. Interdimensional Santa is a free item. Broken glass grants an ability that makes you automatically shoot a burst of small but weak projectiles every three seconds. Okay, I love this. So what what is our burst? Okay, so it, it shoots in a random direction. It appears. Because it's not the direction that I'm shooting. Okay. I mean, I think that's fine. It's a little bit of, of AoE, right? Because you got a little, like, shotgun shot action. I don't mind it at all. I mean, already we got two different items from last time. So I'm, I'm excited to see where this one takes me. Imagine if we could get more of that, honestly. So every three seconds it fires them out in, in several different directions. I think that'd be sick. Grants an ability that makes you automatically shoot a powerful rocket projectile every three seconds. Freezing clouds are cool too, but dude, every three seconds, uh, the world pops off for us. This seems sick. Okay, yeah, this seems sick. I, I like this already. And so our, our two three-second effects are on different timers right now. So they're, they're activating at different times, which offers us a lot more potential in my opinion this is kind of cool okay i like it i like it keep keep it going you gotta make sure you collect your money too i believe the money does go away at the end of the wave hello friend good to see you so make sure we're, we're getting everything we don't have that um metal attraction item this time so our run is uh a little bit spicier to actually collect money okay you're you're dead as hell the mine spawning outside the map is probably pretty bad, but that's okay. Summons a companion that follows you around and shoots enemies. Oh, what the frick, dude? It's Companion City right now. Okay, I mean, you're buying out all the companions. Oh, they go along the outside. That's cool. Okay. That's super cool. I like it. Okay, and then I have this little guy who, who's shooting. Yeah, he's shooting like a shotgun every once in a while. So this, I mean, this is an, a completely different run than what we had last time, which is cool. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. 
Obviously, in the full release, I just want to see, like, everything ramped up even more, right? You know, give, give me, give me more unique enemies, give me more items, give me more, uh... I do think there needs to be, like, a couple more animations in the game as well, but that's, that's just me. Interdimensional Santa, yes. Give me the crosshair, absolutely. And you can't re-roll that, so... We might not be able to re-roll the, uh, the duplication. I don't even know what we would want. I, I suppose we would probably want to duplicate the every three seconds you fire the big missile, right? Because imagine having four missiles shoot out of you every, uh, every three seconds. I feel like that would end up being very, very strong and very fun at the same time. Um, or, or the, the little shotgun spray that we do. This is going fine though. Um, yeah, we are gonna take mitosis again. I, I know that it's a little bit of a, an interesting, interesting effect, and and that's why I want it. And then I still have have the small dream that we could get more mitosis in the future. I have no idea if it's possible, but I, I want I want that dream to become a reality. Okay, keep it going, keep it going. I'm happy. I'm happy. There's so many gems in the, the next fest, man. We, we streamed some uh, games as well uh, on, on our stream the other day. We're, we've been doing streams on YouTube as well. So if you're watching on uh, YouTube right now, which, I mean, this is the only place this video is going to go. But if you're watching, oh, hello, another little companion. I mean, dude, I'm going to be real. I'm buying out your shops every time. I got the whole damn squad with me now. Look at this, man. Okay, incredible. I'm, I'm a huge fan of this. I, I've always liked familiars in games. Um, no clue even why. Most of the time it's just because they look cute, I think. But we, we've been streaming on YouTube, so so be sure, you know, subscribe to the channel. Keep your, your notifications turned on for the channel. You can get notifications when I go live, so you can watch us uh, do some some streaming and check out some games. So we, we checked out some, some absolute gems. Uh, on on stream the other day too. Those videos will hit YouTube at some point. Hello, mirror face. This is duplication, man. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Except, what if I rerolled? What if I rerolled? Yes. It's only two of them though. Um, what if we rerolled and we got mitosis? No, just just take just take the the bullet, William. So now we fire out two. Oh, dude, and they split with mitosis. Hold on. Also, I just understood the joke with Bullet William. <laughs> it's a bullet bill. <laughs> That's pretty good. I, I do like a, a nice classic Mario reference. Oh, dude, him splitting is sick. So the mitosis applies to... I mean, the reality is it might be applying to our familiars as well. I, I can't tell. Yeah, you know what? It absolutely... Is it... It's actually extremely difficult to tell uh, if that is if that is affecting our familiars or not. But I mean, kind of kind of cool if so. Um, do these people still drop money while the what the frick? You just see the boss get launched. If they're still dropping money while the boss is here, couldn't you theoretically farm infinite money? I have a feel. Oh, what the frick? Where'd he go? I have a feeling you cannot farm infinite money. Or else, to be honest with you, there would be a lot more money on the screen right now. Okay, that went fantastic. Very, very well. Broken glass again. Yes, that seems great. So now we're going to fire broken glass that splits in mitosis. But is it... So is it paired up right now with our... I don't know how... We, we have two of them, right? Is it firing both at the same time so it's just like one bigger barrage of stuff? Or how is how is that working? I don't know. I got no clue. Okay, I got no clue. Hey, HP. Nice to know that we can heal picking up stuff from the ground as well. Okay, there is like so much going on in the screen, uh, which increases difficulty, but I, I like it. Give me more fire rate. I mean, you're buying... I don't really care about the beasting though. I don't think I need to move faster in this game. I think I'm, I'm moving an adequate amount uh, already. So we can just save our money. I know that we've, we've been getting enough money that it doesn't necessarily matter, but that's, that's cool. I also, I mean, I want to talk about the fact that we 
we do not have meta progression in this game. Um, well, I mean, you have meta progression in the form of, of item unlocks, which is the way that I love it. Um, we've talked about this ad nauseum in the past. So it is exciting to see um, that that kind of uh, progression system where, where we're getting XP, but it's not inherently just making our character uh, stronger in the future. Hello, interdimensional Santa. What is this? Grants an ability to automatically shoot a projectile that travels in a spiral pattern. The Fibonacci notes. Okay. So what is this? Oh, okay. I see him. I'm with it. I'm with it. That seems to be doing good stuff. Dude, I love these three second items. Just adding a little bit more uh, funkiness. And then it splits too. I'm, I'm watching it split on the screen. My toast, dude, my toast is such a fun item. I mean, that that's how you create builds that are super wacky and fun is by getting the getting the the bullet effect stuff going it makes me want to get uh the i mean homing obviously w was an interesting one plus one projectile uh yeah absolutely oh dude absolutely look at this i know it, it made our spread a lot higher and then also decreased our damage i think maybe did it say it decreased damage possibly i don't really care because it's bodying right is bodying now the extra the extra projectile applies to our damn three second bangers too i'm firing out two bullet williams and then they split into even more shots oh dude we're we're annihilating okay we we have we have been gifted a wonderful situation here also called uh winning most likely i still have no idea how deep the waves go we're on 14 increase fire rate when your hp drops below 15 Okay, this is actually going to be... I'm going to take that, but then I'm going to hit you with a reroll. So give me this. Give me the range. I'm going to I'm gonna pass. You still got to make sure you use your rerolls uh, to the, the most of your ability to get as much value out of them as humanly possible. Oh, dude, we're just absolutely melting. The extra damage we just picked up is, is clobbering. <laughs> Oh, it's Melt City, baby. It's Melt City. There's, there's still no greater feeling than just being able to, to roll right through enemies without any uh, any issues whatsoever. Jesus, criminy, is it good. Okay, say hello to another boss, though. I am at least... I'm not overwhelmed by the boss, but I'm, I'm adequately whelmed for sure. Uh, just kidding. He's getting his ass beaten. Okay, this <laughs> is not even close. Hello, interdimensional Santa. What do you got for me? Um, I will take more fire rate. I know that the the sizable Adam's doing good stuff, but I I think if you give me the opportunity to uh, shoot faster or just get more stuff, I'm always gonna take shoot faster. Fire rate is such a, an underrate. Oh, I mean, I guess it's probably properly rated in a, a game like this, but. Shoot faster is just as good as damage, baby. It's just as good as damage. We got some new enemies in here. They're they're a little they're a little chasing me down. Which is a bit scary. We got so much money. Getting those rerolls too. Aw, uh, dude, two extra rerolls on top of what we already had. We 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 aren't really using much reroll action. I did get hit there. It's tough to see when you get hit. I feel like there needs to be like a little sound effect or something. Okay, I'm gonna actually reroll here. I mean, another broken class is interesting, but, um, just this, this is, this is our time to possibly get something crazy. Another Fibonacci note. Okay. I think that that's fine. So now we fire out two spirals. They get a little wacky. Uh, they get a little wacky. We're, we're hurt. Okay. We are hurt. That does not mean that we are in bad shape. Um, it does mean that we would love to find some heals. Uh, on the map this time around if at all possible we did unlock the one item that fully heals us as well so if the game just wants to give that to me we could live a, a nice and happy life but that's obviously asking for a bit much grab that gold coin i don't know how much the the various coins are worth i do know that i have 600 money to my name right now which is quite a lot it's quite a lot okay uh critical hit chance goes up more fire rate okay bye bye Bye, baby. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Okay. Scene 18. You think it goes to 20? 
I think that it goes to 20. That that's my current bet is that we we tap out at 20. Hopefully I don't die before uh, before 20. But I, I I just have this 20 is a nice round number. What what if it ended at 19? That would be extremely cursed. But I think 20 is going to be a nice spot for for the run to end. We can get our win. We can unlock a new character. We can see what the difference is uh, between the characters. See if they maybe have a, a different gun as well. The fact that there was a, a place for gun tells me that there's probably going to be uh, different guns in the game. Space Hog, hello. We got rerolls to spend. Chance to be healed, 1%. It's probably worth it, okay. But what if instead we got another bullet William? No, what if instead we got... 10% chance for projectiles to release a poison... No, what if you got homing instead? That seems good. So how how strong is the homing? I have no idea. Um, to be honest with you, I feel like we are obliterating... Well, actually, it seems the splitting shots are now hitting people more. So the homing is definitely doing something. I'm, I'm with it, okay? I'm with it. I mean, it's not like I'm not going to take the homing there. Is obviously strong. Just having homing shots is cool. Having 9 HP is not cool, though. I would like to to heal at some point. Give me that cash. What do you got, Space Hog? Metal attraction? I should take the damn organ donor, okay? I get it. I should take the damn organ donor. It's C20, okay? I have no idea whether or not this this could be the end um okay we're we've already gotten the one percent to proc twice uh we've gotten it to proc uh seven times already okay so this this item is basically on the later waves it's full health <laughs> it's full health we we are going to be fully healed by the end of the wave yeah okay is really good one percent is very high that's very high when you don't actually take a lot of damage in the game. I think we're looking at a win, ladies and gentlemen. Even if it's not scene 20 that this shebang ends at. We do have uh, another boss. It's a big old jackfruit. Okay. I, I will kill you, my big old jackfruit. I think that our, our little weird atoms that are coming out of us, they got like some insane knockback or something. Okay, you, you smacked me right around, baby, right around. You're dead. Bravo, he's done it. Scene 20 is most likely the, the finish line. That went great, man. That went great. New item unlocked, the Octopoda. Grants an ability that makes you automatically shoot projectiles in eight directions. That's cool. Quick trigger has been unlocked as a new character. And then we, we still have our XP as well. Projectiles split into four tiny ones. So all of the cool effects are, are most likely... 7% chance to not take damage. A lot of the cool effects are probably uh, in the unlock system. This is going great. Replace every 10th projectile you shoot with a bomb. Okay. Very interesting. We, we get into 32. We absolutely are. Double your damage you deal when your HP is above 85% of your max. Okay. That's, that's the same, but fire rate was the one that we got before. And then there we are. Okay. Um, so that's a successful run. What, where are we at now? So we have um, 26 of the 50 items collected. So it's still quite a lot to go. We're about 50% of the way through the demo, which, I mean, that's absurd. Uh, 30 minutes and you're, you're... So it's about an hour-long demo at that point. But you still have another character, too. So you got to win four runs to get that one. So this guy starts with... Uh, he shoots piercing bullets. What the frick? But extremely low damage. Okay. And starts with like an SMG. I just want to see how fast it shoots. We're not gonna, we're not gonna go all in here um, and do another run. So it it shoots pretty quick. It is an SMG. Um, so it shoots pretty quick, but the damage, yeah, damage is really low. So like two, three damage a pop. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, so th that's Cyclo Chambers. Interesting little game, dude. Excited to see what all they do. Uh, in the full release of the game. There, there's clearly some good foundations in this one to create uh, that kind of Brotato plus Binding of Isaac style. Um, it just needs more meat on the bones, right? As it adds more and more stuff, it could end up being it could end up being a really strong game in this genre, and I mean that sincerely. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, as always, leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't. 
I'll catch you guys in the next indie demo tomorrow. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.